All right, here we go. Here's, this is probably one of the most important ones for the day. We have people that say this all the time. They mean well when they say this, um, but it's the wrong statement. And that's what it is, the statement. People say things like, all right, who's going to make a statement this year with their, with their program? Who, what athlete's going to make a statement this year with how, you know, how they perform? Like, what, they, they'll say, like, what, who's going to have a breakout year this year? Like, who's going to make a statement? And that's the thing is, that statement, that's a monologue. That's like, it's like giving a speech. It's prepared. It's a one-time event. It doesn't really represent the body of somebody's work. It's just a performance. What you want to understand is if you're looking for real winning, real success, like real peak performance, then what you're looking at is not a monologue, not a prepared speech, but you're looking at a dialogue. You're looking at a conversation. If you want to get healthy at the highest level, then your nutrition isn't a statement. It's a conversation. It's a, it's a daily conversation. It's not just one habit, but it's a bunch of habits. It's the habitat. And the same thing with sports performance, the same thing with academics. It's not a who's going to make a statement. Every day you make a statement. And then you see how, how the life and, and your sport and your academics and nutrition and how that interacts with your body. And then your body gives you some feedback. And then it's, it's a conversation. It's an ongoing dialogue. You say something, and then it says something back to you. And then you listen, and then you make an adjustment, and then you say something again, and then it says something back to you. And then sometimes you say something that's a little bit harsh, and then sometimes it gives you a little bit of harsh feedback. Hey, listen, you weren't taking care of yourself. Boom, how do you like that? Dang, that, that didn't taste good. All right, hey, listen, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. If you're sorry, if you're apologizing, change your actions. You change your actions, boom, the conversation develops. The relationship develops. Performance is a relationship. It's, it's not a statement. It's not somebody buying tickets and sitting down in a theater and they want to see performance. No, they want to be involved. You want to be involved. The problem is though, a lot of people don't want to be involved. They just want to hire somebody to fix it for them. They want to hire somebody to make their statement. Hey, listen, you're a good speaker. Let me hire you to make my statement. You know what's going to make my statement better than a hired speaker? Me making my statement. You need to make your statement, right? And then you need to listen. It's a dialogue. It's a conversation. It's a relationship. The statement is okay to start with. Then you got to open it up for some Q&A. Hey, listen, I just gave my, te my TED talk. I just gave my speech. I just gave my, you know, my class presentation. Who has questions? All right, now let's see what you really know. Anybody can come up with a statement. Anybody can say something and prepare something and then just put it out there. And now all of a sudden it's like, all right, Q&A. And then somebody's like, hey, listen, Coach Kutry, um, that's awesome. Hey, what do you do? What did you do yesterday? What did you do in this situation? All right, uh, now what do I do? Now when you're rattled a little bit by life, now when you're shaken a little bit by the opponent, which usually is you, um, now, when, when you get thrown that curveball and you're having, you know, Clint Eastwood trouble with the curve, all of a sudden, can you make the adjustment? Can you, can you jump into that conversation and have something impactful to say and have some way to make an adjustment? Are you surrounded by other people that help you make the adjustment and that are being, being like good friends and helping you hold yourself, you know, accountable? for what your statements are, what your conversations are with yourself? That's the question. That's, that's the environment that you want for growth. If you're going to have a beautiful relationship with human performance, with nutrition, with academics, with, with your life, with whatever you're contributing to society, it's about that conversation. It's, it's not going to be a statement. So when you say something to somebody like, hey, listen, you want to make a statement this year? Think about it for a second before you say it, because that's not really what you mean. That, that's confusing. You know, performance isn't a statement. It's a conversation. You develop a relationship in your daily life, your habits, your habitat, with human performance. The dialogue has to involve you, and then the biofeedback loop listening to you, making adjustments, improving you. Otherwise, and it can't be just you either. I mean, you, it can be, but it's that you're not going to get to the highest level 
for the longest by being by yourself.